we're gonna go recording there we go and uh hey and welcome to the stream again hope you all are having a great night i know i am especially after learning all this about the mic and uh hopefully i don't blow any anyone's ears drums out i really do i, I apologize leave me a comment leave me a, a chat it in the message if you're watching uh as we stream this live let me know if this is too loud like oof, man i did not expect it anyway so to recap we have killed the crystal sage we've done the abyss watchers and we've done the stray demon out on top of the uh on the top of the covenant area of the Farron watchdog so all that's done we're going to be running around with the blue sentinels uh if we're unembered and if we ember we'll probably put on the way of the blue just in case because like i said this pv this build as far as pvp goes i'm not sure how well it's going to hold up um we're using the grass crush shield uh i do want to try eventually to eventually get to the point where we could use the old wolf curve sword i do think it would be a fun weapon to play around with i mean i'm not sure how realistic that is for intelligence builds honestly the other one is the the uh ah uh, the moon ah crap old moon great sword i believe is the name of it i'm not entirely certain it's been a while since I've actually even looked at that weapon, because it's always required intelligence, and I just never ran a character that was intelligent. It's <laughs> as far as intelligent based, uh, mine was mine have always been faith based. So this has been a little bit of a, a little bit of a learning experience. We're not gonna lie. But uh, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and set us up with our scythe. That's what we're currently using. It's we we also are playing around with the idea of using the sharp dark sword. I did build that put that together to see what the stats are coming out to be uh it's not terrible i think it i think it's got potential but it's not what we're really focusing on i mean i think it would just be a band-aid anyway i mean i've already put the souls and the time into it but honestly i don't think it's gonna be that necessary i think it's gonna be honestly the dlc boss the first dlc boss that we go up against and hopefully we get there fairly quick but uh i think that's where we're gonna find a lot of our good moments with scythes because i do want to do a scythe playthrough and i've wanted to use free day scythe it needs it's another weapon that scales with intelligence as well as faith i believe but i know it's mainly intelligence it might actually be only intelligence we'll see when we get there um anyway so we're going to go ahead and move over to the crystal sage and we're going to start pressing forward Unfortunately, with how this uh, is playing through for us, I may have to, I don't know, play around with using a fan on my, my router just because uh, it's it's a very, uh, I, I, I have Spectrum, I'll be honest, be straight up. Spectrum and Spectrum sucks for their uh, normal gear, like I just didn't have the, uh, the ability to get a modem in the moment, so we're running on essentially what Spectrum has given us. Oh, a couple pieces of twinkling. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, my router might overheat at some point. I know the thing has no fans, has awful heat management. So I've been, I've been putting a fan on it, but the fan was making so much background noise. I found out that's what was being heard and why I had to turn my mic down so low not have that awful background noise. He just barely got away. Are you actually going to come down here? I don't know if they're smart enough. Oh. Yes, he is. Now he's dead. But yeah, we pretty much we've uh, we've leveled I think up to like level fifty ish something around there, and most of our stats have gone to a little bit of weapon stats, admittedly, to get us to the point where we could use scythes. But uh, most of our stats have gone to 
intelligence, so our spells are actually hitting decently hard. I love that he kicks me twice as he's walking by and it literally takes away like a quarter of my health. Admittedly unembered health, but damn dude, that's some heavy foot. Some heavy feet fall right there. Got the Herald set and the Evangelist robes. Awesome. <clears throat> well, it looks like the compression caught that one. So didn't blare any. Hopefully, we didn't blare any ones. Uh, you're too much of that. Uh, sorry, I gotta keep reminding myself that Mike's super sensitive now and uh, can't just clear my throat like I usually would. So. All right, so we got this guy. Let's go ahead and buff Estus and shoot. Oh, wow, he locked. I was right at the edge. Drive, boy. What we do. I wish there was a little more story behind that guy specifically. I know he guards the Paladin Nash, but uh, he uses the Fallen Knight armor set, and I love that armor set. It's what I use when I'm not using the Farron. I actually farmed up 10,000 souls specifically for the Farron chest piece because I love this freaking chest piece. But anyway, uh, this is where we get the spider shield off of this guy. Oh, that hurt, man. Chill. Oh, we're out of essence. Stop throwing knives. It's unnecessary, sir. Ooh. Got them buffs going. Yeah, I got it. Bert. Okay, dude. Missed the sweet spot on that last hit. Sweet spot we were talking about on the last stream, which was essentially the uh, the mechanic where uh, for scythes and halibirds, glaives, you have to hit with the tip of the weapon. You can't hit with the stick part of it. The stick part of it will give reduced damage. The sweet spot will give boosted damage. So... Definitely want to keep that in mind when you're using like the Black Knight Halibird or Glaive itself or Actually I think they call it the Black Knight Glaive in this game, awkwardly enough. Sneaky path up here. Dog should chase us. There he is. Oh, didn't lock up. No. Bad dog. Hopefully. We've actually gotten pretty good at taking care of dogs as a sorcerer. Honestly, one of my biggest mistakes was the fact that I was just... Oh. Looking over too much. Love it. 
But uh, one of my biggest mistakes, I was using spells that just take too long to cast. Like the heavy spells, the heavy soul arrow, great heavy soul arrow. They just, like you see, I still use the regular heavy soul arrow because like the great one is even longer to cast. Even the heavy one at this point in the game, I'm looking at it like, gosh, the thing takes a day and a half to actually shoot. That's just too much. We're also using the uh, great sword. Little great sword. It's great for this. That just feels so good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Hello there. Good night. Anyway, so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, enough of me talking about the spells, spells I love. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and press into the cathedral. We're gonna see our first glimpse of uh, Slave Knight Gale. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's our buddy. That's our boy. Right there. Slave Knight Gale. Such... I love how they linked both DLCs with that one character. We'll get into it later, but... uh, Definitely an awesome way to start it. So we're going to actually... Just because he makes some really annoying noises when we come back. So, uh, <clears throat> what we're essentially going to do is we're just going to go ahead and start the DLC. We may not actually go all the way through it, but we're going to start it. We're going to get there. We're going to get the first bonfire. It makes him despawn so we can have this bonfire free of him because he makes some of the weirdest noises if you let him stay. There we go. Skip that. I mean, honestly, if you're, at the, if you're playing the game, you're going to watch these things on your own time. And I'm sure you're going to love the immersion of your own, but we're just kind of playing this, as you know, like, let's play together. We don't need to go into like a a lot a lot of the uh, cutscenes and stuff. It's just no reason to. I'm sure we'll do a playthrough where I do that offline for the YouTube. How very unusual. Just how long has it been? Rejoice, my new for the cold and gentle. We're skipping that. Yeah. Sweetly rotting bed to lie upon. Honestly, I don't think he's really got much of a purpose other than just a couple lines of dialogue. It's kind of weird. I'm halfway tempted to kill him this playthrough, just because this is kind of like the try new stuff playthrough, but we won't. We'll be good. Anyway, so that's the first bonfire. I think what we'll do is we're going to take on the Cathedral of the Deep and possibly Karthus. Get all the souls we can from those areas. Uh, be at a point where we're getting large shards consistently because I know right now we're not getting large shards and then this DLC you do get a lot of large shards. So I'm thinking we'll wait till we get through Karthus and then we'll come do the DLC and then we'll do uh, the Irithyll of Boreal Valley. So that's kind of uh, the sequence of events that I'm trying to set up at this point. Just kind of what makes sense to me. <clears throat> so get on back to the cleansing chapel <sighs> have us some more of the dark soul and go through one of the most annoying spots in the game this is uh this is essentially we're gonna be running through a cemetery and all of the enemies just continually spawn. I also did get that Estus flash shard, but we're going to wait to go back to the Firelink shrine to use it because we're also going to get a uh, undead bone shard here. So we'll just do both of them at the same time and have a few less. I love this guy. I was, what is he hitting? What's making that noise? I don't get it. Anyway, at the Astora Greatsword, another great dex weapon as far as greatswords go. Oh, I hate when they puke. So disgusting. Vile creatures. Anyway, actually, we're going to go ahead and go this way instead. Because there's another item in the back here. And this is like an upper path. 
we're going to end up down there. But luckily, this is one scenario where Soul Great Sword is going to show through and be super freaking useful. We're going to have them all come up behind us. I was a little late on the draw there, so they got a hit on me, but... Nope, oh, can't squeeze through you. Fatty. Fatty, fatty, fatty. That's what I did there. Alrighty. Oh, I hate these guys. And I'm still having that out. I want this. Die. <laughs> Die, damn it. Oh god, the Grave Wardens. They are actually kind of a pain in the ass. Boy, you start freaking out on me here, boy. We don't know. We want none of that. Anyway, so you'll notice these spears are familiar. Hopefully, our buddy is still alive. He may not. Yep, there he is. Anyway, we just got our undead bone shard. One of the... Oh, oh, oh. Don't do that. Fortunately, those guys leave bleeding leeches. Or like maggots. Or Okay. Where is my torch? This is going to suck. I could have swore... Oh, and I'm being summoned to another world. That's that's awesome. All right, so we're going to go ahead and try and save uh, a world host, uh, a host of embers. I hear it's going this way. Easy enough, he had Phantom in the world already. Now I'm happy to duel someone as the as the uh spirit I am, just because you know why not? Always happy to do that. I feel like honestly I'd rather that happen. I'd rather the the Phantom of the host and the world host kinda sit back. And if, especially if it's a mad spirit, I mean, if he wins, he gets his token, he leaves. If I win, he doesn't get a token, and I get a token, and uh, we leave. So, as far as etiquette goes, I mean, I totally understand the whole dueling etiquette and such, but when you're a mad spirit, there's kind of a nice little addendum, addendum where you don't necessarily need to duel the world host. It's only as a a red spirit, is that necessary? Or a dark spirit, I should say. So, <clears throat> anyway, we're back to our world. We're going to go ahead and get that shortcut down. We're going to go over here, and we're going to try to get all the way through the first chunk to get the second shortcut. And then we'll head back to Firelink through that shortcut. And then come and push forward to the second or third shortcut, I think it actually is, and uh, move on from there. Guy with a crossbow. Yeah, there he is. See, now that's weird. I just realized I have a setting set up wrong.
go into my settings real quick. There's a there's one setting that I got so used to with Ultra Great Swords. It was like the one reason you'd use an Ultra Great Sword in Dark Souls 2. There we go. Was so that when you're targeting someone, you can attack in any direction and it doesn't lock you into like tracking them manually or the way they want you to track them. And you can track them however you wish instead. Which is where I'm more accustomed to. So, for example, let's see if I can show off the setting. So like right now, right now, if I were to attack him, it's just going to attack toward him. But if I hit to the right, oh, maybe not. It used to work. Oh, that's unfortunate. Ouch. Did I mess up the setting? Or I turned it off. Manual attack aiming. Auto target. I wonder if those two work in tandem. Might be that way. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. It may be that it was a placebo. Or something I thought was doing something and isn't actually doing what I thought it was. Maybe it only works for the ultra weapons. We will find out. Anyway, we're gonna come out here. Yep. Crawl up on the wall. Ha. <laughs> That's funny. He died all the way up there. Hit the first little ledge. Got stuck. Alright, we more us this. <clears throat> See that crawl there? Uh, you just saw you at the corner of my eye as I was coming back down. Yeah, right now it's not working the way it should be. Oh well, must be only for ultra weapons. I honestly usually only use ultra weapons, so that probably is exactly what it is. The lack of uh, explanation on on the screen when you're doing it or going through your settings is unfortunate. I would have thought they allowed you to free attack with any uh, setup at this point. Suppose that's not the case. I missed the headshot. And now you're gonna go kamikaze on me. shadowing event here guys we all like to think they wouldn't bring back such an awful area as far as rooftops and in Orlando nights with uh, dragon slayer great bows but if you really think that you are sadly mistaken now nah, you're dead there we go we got some heavy bolts off that boy Come on up here. There's gonna be a little ambush spot. You see the thrall's leg hanging off. I wonder if we can actually hit him. Uh, a higher up. Heck yeah, we can. There's the other one. Oh, he actually got the plunging attack on me. That's unfortunate. Now you must die. And gosh, we're burning through Estus. FP. Luckily, we got the, uh, if we keep missing like that, we certainly will be. But, uh, luckily, we got the uh, Undead Bone Shard, so that'll help make this last a little bit longer. How did that not hit? Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. Oh, he's just gonna, I guess, okay. Pathing is not her strong point. Okay. We take that, I guess. Suppose. 
All right, so this guy aggroed and almost just killed me. On a hit, art. Oh, just arrived that. There we go. <clears throat> now, oh, we're gonna go ahead and. There's an ambush here. Yeah. Just chases after us like a freaking madman. I have never seen them swing that many times in a sprint after you. Or maybe I have, but it's been quite an experience coming back to this game after playing Dark Souls 1 for so long. Because Dark Souls 1, nothing like that is quite a thing, so... Since that happened, we're going to go ahead and actually, you know what I'm going to do first? So I'm going to find that freaking torch. That torch should have been in my inventory. I bought one early in the game. I'm not seeing it. I wonder if I didn't have enough souls. I only thought I bought it. Hmm. Either way, we're going to buy it now. We want that. These guys, these guys are really annoying without fire. Sadly, uh... here so we're gonna go travel and fire link here we go welcome home Ashen one I can't talk to you because I have no souls I don't have any souls so I can sell something though get my torch wow. And give her the umbra lash we found. Left eye over. And sell item. We have an extra. I believe it was a Black Knight Greatsword. Yeah. And an extra true sword. True. Anyway. Now we're going to look at shields. I don't think we have any duplicates now, so I think we are good to go on selling stuff. Keep our inventory tidy. Yeah, I'm feeling like a pretty, pretty decent lingering dragon crest. Okay. That's all that is. All right. So we're going to go to our, mo our main man over here, Andre. No, not reinforced. Nothing reinforced. So boom, bada bing, bada boom. Alrighty. Can we? I don't think yeah, no. I don't think we found any large shards in the last little bit, so he doesn't have anything to do. Just thinking about all the storylines in the area. I think we are good to go. Especially since we lost all our souls. Or if we didn't lose them, lose them. They're just sitting somewhere. We'll get back to them. They won't be gone forever. Unfortunately, we're going up against the crystal lizard here pretty quick. But we're going to go ahead and take the uh, the low route now. Totally sold. Great sword. Did not buy a torch. I wanted. <laughs> oh, well. We'll get to the first shortcut. We'll come back and... Actually, at that point, we probably won't even need the torch, so. We will just move on. Without the torch. Got me with the little leeches or maggots or whatever they are. Is there any fire around here I could roll into? I doubt it. I think you legit need a torch. We're gonna deal with it for now. Not much else we can do. Only because I've looked at my inventory twice now and noticed that I didn't have that torch I bought. Swore at least, at least I thought I bought it. Oh, 
Oh, he hit us twice, really. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Ah, we lost those souls. But oh well, I'm not too tripping about it. I know I'm over level for this spot anyway. It's just specifically that crystal wizard is going to be a pain in the butt. <clears throat> we will actually grab a torch. We can't. It's lost our souls. Ah. Joke's on me. Awesome. 430. All right. So, oh, out of. Yeah. Just avoid them, honestly. It's a lame idea. Really? got to be extra careful with them. That's what we'll do. And since magic doesn't seem to do much against these crystal lizards, we're just going to man mode lizard. There's my souls. that head give me your face yeah boy get our third titanite skill we still have to go back and get the other titanite skill earlier from the uh first area but that'll get us up to four titanite skills nice uh little bump from where we started you i hate this spot such a small spot to deal with them get up hard once Couple extra little bad boys oh, out of stamina. Gosh, I never realized how much stamina fantastic spells costs. There we go. Right in here at the get poison bite. Get the poison bite ring, very nice. Ah. So I think all we got left is a couple of shards. Oh my god, when we get free day scythe, man. I cannot wait till we get free day scythe. Like I said, we might we, I, I might go back on what I said actually. Uh, I said we might do Karthus first and come back, but I don't know. That's the idea of that scythe really sounds appealing to me. Just as a weapon for uh, not only the standard game, but PvP as well. Feels just ultra badass. Oh, that was unfortunate. It's gone. Oh well. Don't need the twinkling, he's gonna drop it. That is not a rare resource. We'll have buttloads of twinkling. Come mid game. Chill, my man. Unfortunately, we got bled, or we got procced by the uh, the leeches, so we're gonna have to deal with that. 
Um, let's see here. What can we do? Got one spot up there. Oh, cool. Being summoned. Go ahead and top off health in case it bosses us right before we leave. Nope. I'm not entirely certain if that's going to be a thing when I get back that I have to think about. I think that was the same dark spirit we uh oh thanks for the call out there Zan. i appreciate it <laughs> so far we uh it's been going pretty smooth luckily enough it's been very straightforward anyway so I guess we'll start touching up on the lore that we've kind of we kind of touched up on earlier, but why not? I mean, certain parts of the game we'll get to later, and we'll touch on them then. But for now, we'll just kind of hit the places we have. So you got <clears throat> Baron Keep, which I love the uh, the idea behind the. Which I'm call it, the, uh, essentially the ritual snuffing out three flames which kind of supports my original idea of the first uh, the Dark Souls 1 playthrough we did of uh, technically I don't think Seath got a Lord Soul because although people try to it's like a gap that was tried to cover later I think he literally only got duped him and it's just the fact that he had a strong soul that we needed his soul to open the door to the first kiln I don't think he actually got a shard of that Lord Soul that uh, Gwyn had. So, at that point, it makes sense that there's only three fires and Seath wouldn't be counted as part of that whole uh, ritual. Even though there were four bosses we had to take down in the first game to get to that point. Oh my god. Oh, that was unfortunate. All right, we got the hood and the robe now, at least. Sorry, I didn't expect that guy to take so much of my attention. That was a little more hectic than I expected. Here to grab that. But, uh... The ritual behind becoming essentially one of the uh, abyss watchers was kind of kind of intense when you think about it because that was the same ritual we went through in the first game or in the remaster at least i can't ask this i love lloyd talismans i forgot they got those here and there's a, there's a couple spots in the game where they throw lloyd talismans at you and it's just really annoying it's like, really, dude? Especially for glass cannon build, it's like, oh my god, I have no extra health to rely upon, and he literally took me down to rice. And then Lloyd Talison to me. <laughs> Touche. I can't wait till I find someone in PvP who's that smart. Honestly, I I when I'm focused on PvP, I'll I'll pull him out. Totally keep people into a, a 1v1 duel and, and chances are they run away and try to heal anyway but it's like still it's fun just to take away the ability in the moment make it a chase moment shoot spells at them if they run away or throw fireballs or fire bombs if you don't have a pyromancy he's up in tune yet so. <clears throat> keep it simple have some fun with it oh god Forgot about you. We'll make sure he feels nice and special. 
don't want to forget about anybody. My God. Oh. Mike, really? He pinned me in. I've never seen him be able to do that before. There was definitely an opening. I would have been able to fit the back out. Guess our character is just a fatty. Be wary of fatty, in fact. Fatty gets you killed. I noticed we also didn't do that. We're supposed to do a 5 and a 5 split for us this, and I still have a 4 and 6 from that new shard we got. So we will have to make a moment at some point, go back to Andre and have him fix that for us. Not that it's a huge deal. I don't think anything here is going to really make us run through all of our Estas. But in case it becomes a big deal later on, we'll be ready for it. Things are just dying around us. I've already gotten 880 souls for running through an area. I don't quite know why. Surprise, motherfucker. Ouch. No, we're not getting stuck on that little ledge thing again. That was really stupid. That was a hell of a jump. There we go. Get past him. That guy's already in. There we go. It does make you wonder, how does a Lloyd Talisman actually work? It acts like it affects you yourself, but in the same sense, like you pull out an Estus that's full. Oh, maybe you don't. Maybe it does empty your Estus momentarily. So I could have swore last time I tried to do an Estus while uh, under the effects of a Lloyd's Talisman, it totally pulled out a whipped out of like full Estus canister and then didn't use it. I was like, so does it put a bug in it? <laughs> For a sec, make sure we don't have any more surprise rolls on us. Yep, doesn't look like it. Move right along. Yep, we got those two. You're gonna fling fire at us. sad where we died. It was right here. The thrall that chased us. We died. It's not like he's a very good like a very big uh, threat. Funny part. We died a such a such an annoying creature. 
Anyway, this time we're more prepared. Trigger the uh, ambush. Oh my god. There we go. Oh, that was unfortunate. Kind of got clucked out of that. Come on. That's actually really annoying. Like, you really not get like any voice boost while you're casting. Oh, well, I guess we can just outsmart them that way. smart them that way. <clears throat> Quiet night. I expect every night to be a winner, I guess. Smack down on this guy. We have one more to build. Of course. I will make that heavy attack work. It may take me twice. I'm gonna make it happen. And make him feel bad, man. Quick checks. We're having any frame drops. I know the internet's gonna be a little bogged because we don't have that fan on at the moment. I'm trying to keep that in mind. Checking on it. Checking on it every few minutes. Hey, <laughs> hey. Take that. Forgot there was a second grave warden. God, I didn't just charge. Oh, come on, really? I am just having the worst luck with that connecting. He tucks it every time. Okay. That was super unfortunate. I can't believe he ducked that spell so many times though. I'm a little baffled. That was some some good actually not good, I should say some terrible RNG as far as just his attacks just happen to have him duck the spell every time. So as far as the grave wardens go. May just keep it close up personal with them. Although, I don't know. Those thralls are making me think twice about Soul Grey Sword. At least until we get a, a decent voice boost to kind of show off what it can do. And again, I don't know what keeps dying when I climb that ladder. Like when I take that route specifically, it's like normally by this point I get 880 souls. I guess something didn't die this time. So nothing's going better. I was out of stamina. I need to invest in stamina. There we go. Oh god. He survived? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I am beginning to hate this intelligent build, I'm not gonna lie. This is a masochistic way to play the game. And I think the game just crashed. It did. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and have to end our recording.
for the moment and we'll get back to it in a second unfortunately we just crashed so yeah sorry about that guys <laughs> 